Hello, and welcome to this tutorial from Navitend. In this screencast, we'll look at how to set up an easy-to-search SharePoint library. Have you been tasked with setting up a shared document library in SharePoint? Instead of using the traditional folder method, try using metadata, information about the files in your library, to organize and sort your files instead. Let's get started. As an example, we will set up a document library in which to store all of our vendor files, such as bills, vendor agreements, and check stubs. Within your SharePoint site, navigate to the Site Contents. Click Add an App and choose Document Library. In the box that opens, enter a name such as Vendor Files and click Create. Click Add an App again, this time choosing Custom List. Enter a name such as Vendors Tags for the list where you will store your library's metadata and click Create. The new document library and list are both visible within the site contents. Click on the Vendor Files document library to open it. Click the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen and choose Library Settings. Scroll down to the column settings and choose Create Column. Enter a column name such as Tags and choose Lookup for the column type. The additional column settings should be as follows. Require that this column contains information. No. Enforce unique values. No. Get information from Vendor Tags. In this column, Title linked to item. Allow multiple values checked. Allow unlimited length in document libraries unchecked. Add to default view checked. When all of your settings are complete, click OK. Navigate back to the vendor files document library. Click Upload files to upload the vendor files you want to store in this library. In another tab, navigate to the vendor tags list. Click Edit this list. Enter any tags you will want to use to organize your files, such as dates and vendor names like 2015, 2016, JCPNL, and Verizon. When you're done, Click Stop Editing This List. Back in the Vendor Files document library, right-click on any one of your files and choose More Properties. Click Edit Item. Double-click on applicable tags to assign them to the chosen file. When finished, click Save. Repeat this process until all of the files in your document library have tags assigned to them. One of the largest benefits of setting up a document library in this way is that it allows you to sort files by more than just their company, which using folders does not 
allow you to do easily. For example, if you want to view all the bills you paid in 2015, you can very easily sort by that year. To do this, click on the Tags column, Filter by 2015. Now all of the bills tagged with 2015 are displayed for you. To remove any applied filters from the document library, click on the Tags column, Clear Filters. If you have an unanswered technical question that you would like to see appear in an upcoming issue, feel free to email it to social at navaten.com. With that, we reach the conclusion of the screencast. You can watch previous issues or subscribe to receive new issues via email on our website. The link is below. Have a great week.